Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past few video tutorials, we had talk, talked about the functional interfaces uh, in package is called java.util.function. So this packet, package contains hands full of functional interfaces and that basically fulfills the developer's requirement. So in this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the lambda expressions, basically, I mean, some tips and best practices while writing the lambda expression. So in this list, my first point is uh, that prefer standard functional interfaces. So already we have seen a uh, lot hands, hands full of functional interfaces are available in the java.util functional interfaces so if your requirement is getting fulfilled by the i mean uh, functional interfaces which is available on the java.util dot function then basically we should always prefer the i mean existing functional interfaces in, instead writing our own functional interface so this point says functional interfaces which are gathered in the java.util dot function package satisfy most developers needs in providing target type for lambda expressions and method references each of these interfaces is generic and abstract making them easy to adapt to almost any lambda expression developers should explore this package before creating new functional interfaces like uh, i will try to explore whatever i have told you through an example like consider an interface is foo uh, there is a interface is called foo which is a functional interface which contains a method is called uh, me, uh, method and which accepts a, a string argument right so suppose you define a functional interface foo uh, and you define a functional method is called method itself and uh, a method add in some class like use foo suppose you have another class is called use foo and uh, there you have defined a method is called add and this method accepts two arguments first is the string and second is the reference of foo itself and using this reference just you are making call to the this method and here you are passing this string as a argument right so here to execute above code to execute this method uh, we can uh, we can have a code snippet like this so you define uh, foo is a functional interface right and it contains only one abstract method so you can uh, define uh, you can you can express this behavior in the form of lambda expression and you do, you can define like this foo foo equal to parameter you can give the any name parameter and this is the lambda expression sign and again parameter and just you are concatenating the one string is from lambda right so you just you are defining foo interface uh, method uh, method behavior in terms of lambda expression and just you are calling add method which is available in the use foo uh, class by passing a first string a first parameter is a string and second parameter is a reference of foo uh, but if you uh, take a closer look on it you will see that foo is nothing more than a function right that accepts one argument and produces a result java 8 already provides such an interface uh, is called function so function interface is a functional interface which accepts a t is the first this is a generic type is a t is one of the input parameter and r is the uh, uh, result so you, you can once you process the parameter t and you uh, this uh, functional interface produces the result as a r Fro uh, and this uh, functional interface is available in the java.util.function package so now we can remove interface foo completely and change our code like this right so earlier we have defined uh, add method like this right so first parameter we had passed a string and second parameter is a reference of foo so same functionality you can achieve by using functional interface so you can change this method uh, signature like this uh, parameter first parameter would be same name and second parameter instead of passing reference of foo 
you can pass the uh, reference of function interface which is a functional interface right and function interface has a method is called apply so using this reference you can call the apply method of function interface and to execute this code you can write code snippet like that function and which uh, accepts two uh, which accepts one param first parameter as the input and second parameter is the output and you can define lambda expression like this and you get the same functionality as we were getting earlier and in this case you don't need to define a additional functional interface foo that's the advantage let's try to understand these things through an example so here i have created a uh, project with name lambda expression based practices demo and here i have created a class which contains main method and here whatever i had explained to you earlier just let's try to explore these things through example so first of all i'm going to create a interface is called foo and this interface a uh, functional interface so let's annotate this as a functional interface and and this guy contain a method uh, whose return type is a string and method name is method itself which accepts one argument is called name okay and let's suppose we have a one class is called use foo use foo and this class has a method like public string act and this method has a first parameter as a string itself say name and second parameter we are passing foo as an argument which is a functional interface and using this foo just we are making and here we can say return foo dot method and this name we are passing over here so very pretty straightforward now here uh, we can define this is a functional interface which contains only one abstract method so behavior this behavior we can express as a lambda expression so here in main method i am going to write foo foo equal to so this takes one parameter right so here we can say if method accepts only one parameter then you don't need to specify the parenthesis right so we can specify lambda expression like this now s plus from lambda like this and here we are we i'm going to create instance of this guy instance of huge foo huge foo equal to new huge foo and i'm going to call add method of huge foo right which accepts one string and second is the reference of foo so reference of foo already we have created over here and here we are going to pass as a name john right and if i run it sorry so this guy is return such a string so i would say the result and result we need to print it and if i run it then we get the output john from lambda right so here what basically we have done but just we are passing i mean name to this method and just we are concatenating concatenating this name with one a string from lambda right so this requirement can be fulfilled by the existing functional interface right and that is already under uh, under the java dot util dot functional interface so what extra we have done this 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 functional interface we have created this is not required at all right so what i'll i'll do i don't want to use this 
add, I don't want to uh, define additional this uh, additional this functional interface instead of that we want to use existing functional in functional interfaces and that is called uh, if you press control shift T and try to try to search for the function so function which is under the java dot util dot function so look at this interface this interface saying that it accepts one parameter and that is a generic one and returns a result and that is also a generic so same uh, same functionality we can achieve through this function interface right so what I am going to do here I don't want to use foo so let's comment it and uh, this code snippet I am going to comment and what I'll do here signature of this add method I'm going to change here instead of foo I'm going to pass function so what I'll do so this code I'm going to comment and let's define add method again with different signature so here instead of foo I'm going to pass reference of function right so here both I'm passing as a string so input I'm passing as a string a result I want as a string itself and I would say fn and here function interface as a method is called apply and here this name I'm passing over here now I want to call this method from client program so how we can call it so <coughs> how we can call it so basically here we have to define a lambda expression for functional interface right and that is called function itself and functional interface has a method is called apply right so and this interface takes one parameter as argument so say yes is equal to uh, sorry lambda expression s plus and similar behavior I can define over here okay and function method ha uh, function interface uh, function uh, function functional interface as a apply method right and here we can pass none name again and I'm going to pass John again and now we require reference of this guy now huge foo add method we are going to call which accepts sorry here we have to pass so this one we don't, we don't need to uh, say we don't need to call explicitly apply method here we are going to pass the reference of function itself and here name we can pass here name we can pass as a John and this method returns a result so that result I want to I want to print so if I run it then you'll get the same output right and here we are not using any I mean custom functional interface which we were using earlier right so anyway we got the I mean functionality without using the additional I mean custom functional interface so I, I hope you understood whatever I want to convey you in this point so if your deeds is fulfilled by the already existing functional interfaces then use that interface instead of creating a new one so thanks for watching this video and, and we'll explore some uh, more points in the next video series so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video